How old are you, Sasan? My age is maybe 25 because I was born in 83. Now you became 29 because I was born in 83. Oh, yes. And your son, what is his name and what does he have? Mohammed Mihad, he has a brain problem. His four limbs, they all have the same problem. I'm always carrying him. My back is tired. Who treats you? I've let myself go. Who takes care of you? Nobody takes care of me. He is four years old now, and I'm not becoming pregnant so that I can take care of him. Yanar Muhammad, can you talk a little bit about the situation in Hawija, uh, located for us in, in the country, and tell us how common this experience is elsewhere in the country as well? Um, in the town of Hawija is right next to a U.S. military base, what used to be a US, U.S. military base. And th these people live only a few miles away from the field where there was daily ammunition training. And now we understand there's something called uh, DU, and it was released in the air, and the mothers were breathing it. In a town that has a population of 100,000, 109,000, we found 600 children who have the same birth defect. And uh, some of the families who come from, let's say, uh, religious backgrounds have decided that they cannot have children anymore. They're abstaining from getting children because they are living a big crisis and they have no solution for it. And the Iraqi government does not pay any uh, social insurance for a handicapped or disabled baby because our law, which was written in Saddam's time, says a child, child has to be over 12 years old to be uh, paid any social insurance. And all these children are less than 10 years old. They were born in the times when there was ammunition training in that U.S. military base. So the mothers, hundreds of mothers in Hawija, absolutely have no, no nobody to, to refer to, nobody to be responsible of them. And the children, some of them not only have lost their limbs and their brain, but they also lost their parents in the battles between the U.S. and the local people. So, so the, a kid who was called Ahmed, and he is in one of the pictures in the Right to Heal campaign, you can see it on the website, you will see that he had not only lost his limbs and his arms, he has nobody to take care of him. Both parents were killed. This is the legacy of the U.S. occupation on Iraq.